started working in a group home when I was 14. And when working in that group home, I learned my passion for working with people with disabilities, especially people with intellectual and developmental disability. And then from then on out, I knew I wanted to be a special ed teacher. I would say there, there's been a huge switch with people now seeing them as people um, is the biggest thing. Um, not just people with disabilities, but they're people. Uh, they have the same drives, the same passions, the same dreams as everybody else does, but they um, go at it at a different pace or a different way. I think a lot of people think that people with disabilities or intellectual and developmental disabilities in general um, think that they can't do things or things might be difficult. So getting a job, living independently, um, or things that people assume that they can't do when in all reality, they can. So that's a big, big one that I've seen. So Best Buddies Here Jefferson is a group that we um, have. It's actually an international group that pairs students with intellectual and developmental disabilities with um, peers in the high school. So they have friends to talk to, friends to go to, friends to eat lunch with, friends to go and do activities with outside of school, inside of school. Just somebody that they, that they know that they can rely on. Best Buddies is important because kids, especially kids with intellectual and developmental disabilities, need to know that they have someone to rely on and, and that they belong. Um, the feeling of belonging and, and realizing that this is their high school too is, is um, something that's really cool to see. Spread the Word to End the Word is a national campaign. Um, it's spreading the word to end the word retard, which is the word that I don't like to say. Um, and the word is uh, very derogatory. Um, it was a medical term um, way back in the day, and it has been now used towards calling somebody slow or um, dumb or stupid, and it, you're referring to a person. So realizing that that's a person um, and that you're you know, referring to them as something bad. So in the poster behind me, it says, language affects attitude, and that's huge. Um, and so using person-first language makes people with intellectual and developmental disabilities um, feel like they are a person. So using the R word and calling your friends or your peers or somebody you don't like the R word can really affect a lot more people than you think. The reason why I joined Best Buddies, um, the reason why I joined this program because I think it's fun to do and um, I'm really loving this program. Best Buddies is a lot of fun. Best Buddies is where you get to hang out with your friends and stuff. And um, you get to eat lunch with your buddies. I think like twice a week. We get to, <laughs> we get to go like on field trip for Best Buddies. And um, we get to do like, um, like walks and stuff. I think my friends would probably really love this program that they would love to do here at JHS. So do you like being with your friends? Yes. How has Best Buddies changed your view of school? Oh. Is it good? Yes. What's your favorite activity to do with Best Buddies? Um, the movie night. The movie night? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty fun. What other things did you like to do with Best Buddies? Hang out. You like to hang out? <laughs> so if someone wanted to join Best Buddies, what would you say to them? Be like, Join. Or join. You, you want people to join Best Buddies? <laughs> <laughs> I like Best Buddies, but I knew Gary Fairfield was going to be my best buddy. I'd like to join this club again back here because I'm going to graduate soon. I would ask someone to join Best Buddies so they can be my friend. Mm -hmm. I like going out for lunch and getting my hair cut and going bowling. I like being the teacher's club called Best Buddies. I just want to thank my teacher, Ms. Corey Bullinger, who did this program. Same with you guys, and you did great, Ms. Bullinger, you're great. It's better for me to have friends and family at the best way because it's um, just all of us with, with the whole family. Man, so you should join because it's like the whole career about friends and families and others. We were partnered up through Best Buddies. We go bowling. Yeah, we went bowling. Uh, we went out to lunch during final exams. Even though we were late. <laughs> and 
um, just kind of hang out and sit in homeroom together, um, walk around school. It's just nice to have a friend. We went on that field trip to, on Oct in October to Schuster's. Um, we all sit together during meetings. Um, yeah, it's just fun being part of the club. It's I'm, great. Yeah, it's really fun. I'm really glad I got stuck with a lot of super. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really great club, and if it wasn't for Best Buddies, I wouldn't be friends with this wonderful person, so... I wouldn't be friends with this amazing girl either. Oh. I joined Best Buddies because I wanted to help make a difference in, like, the special education world and form that gap that is here. It's changed my perspective a lot. It's given me a lot of insight because I do want to go into special education as a career. Do it. It is a Deals. great He's experience. He's sneezing on me. <laughs> and I totally recommend it. A 10 out of 10. Don't be afraid to try it. It's wonderful. <laughs> I joined Best Buddies because Mrs. Bollinger personally asked me to join and Nathan Kehoe needed a buddy pair and we've been friends for a while so I wanted to join and be his buddy. Through Best Buddies, me and Nathan have been able to go out and do certain things. We've been able to go to the bowling alley together. His family invited me over for dinner one night. I played soccer with him and his family one day. And then we see each other at school all the time and we always talk and eat lunch together. To someone who wanted to join Best Buddies, I would say it's a great way to meet new friends, to put yourself in a role model position for people and just be a buddy to someone who really needs it. I joined Best Buddies so that I could spend time with other kids in our school and build new friendships. Best Buddies has helped me build relationships with other people in the school and attend fun events with all my friends that I made. <laughs> I would tell someone who wanted to join Best Buddies that they should and that it's really fun and you get to spend time with other people in your school and you get to do a lot of fun stuff. I've gotten to learn a lot of new things and meet a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Definitely join. Um, it's definitely a very like social club and you get to make a lot of friends. And yeah, just have fun like I said. Yeah. I love to listen to stories. I like to go for walks. My favorite color is purple. Best Buddies is a lot of fun. Lucy and I like to make art together. Best Buddies has made school more fun. Jefferson, Wisconsin is home to St. Coletta's. Their vision is to be a provider of support services for adults with developmental disabilities and other challenges. Their mission is to support persons to achieve their highest quality of life, personal growth, and spiritual awareness. I came here and I started up a group home. Well, I didn't know anything know about that. special education at that time, but you live in Nurm. And that, however, the sisters first came, started a place here in 1904. So it's progressed from educating to um, caring and rehabilitating and now kind of senior care with golden options. So that's how we have progressed and the sisters gradually left and now I'm uh, the last one here and we have a fine staff that are really helping and assisting with our clients. We have, St. Coletus has gone from an institution type living to community based, which has given all our individuals um, the opportunity to live in small homes and are able to do the things like the average family could do. I think the most, that I'm most proud of is that I see the clients being proud of where they, of what they're doing and where they're living and taking an active care, active participation in their programs. And to me, that is something that has grown from do it for me, now I can do it. And that gives me great pride. The thing that I've noticed is the fear that they're, you know, they're going to hurt us or they're going to do something. To me, that's the greatest fear that there is, you know, that, uh, and these people, when they get, when individuals get to know the people, they are wonderful mm -hmm. and helpful. And yes, they may ask you a lot of questions, but that's just curiosity. And I think that's just like what um, regular people do. They ask questions. 
So I think it's fear. We have a couple of our people uh, attending um, MATC in Fort Atkinson. Hey, we've never, never thought that I'd see that. But you know, it's treating people with dignity and compassion, and I think that is how um, we have grown. I like doing a sport of basketball skills. I live um, at six. A little bit um, group home. Is there anything that you want to let everybody know about yourself? Or anything you want to say? I am adopted. You're adopted? Yeah. Very cool. What are some of the things you enjoy doing? Kahoot. Uh, I love Kahoot. You guys play that out here? Yeah. Do you make them? The cahoots? Okay, okay. Yeah, with the computer? Yeah. Excellent. What else do you enjoy? Bowling, track and field, mm -hmm. basketball, bocce. I am religious because I attend chapel every Thursday. I like Bowling, basketball skills, and I'm going out for track and field this year. I like to do grocery shopping. What else do you want people to know about you? Well, that I am that right flexible. Flexible. You are, huh? <laughs>